wide-angle lenses, ultra-wide-angle lenses have a lot of uses. I think personally that they are more versatile than more standard focal lengths. Maybe not more versatile, but more useful and certainly more fun to shoot with. Very wide angle of view is great for the obvious shooting scenarios like landscape or architecture, but it is also great for portrait, close-up and all kinds of photography when one, you want to get more in the frame, or two, get unusual angles, wacky perspectives and generally a look that we are not accustomed to with our naked eyes. This brand new lens from Viltrox for Sony E-mount cameras does all that and so much more. In this video, I'll talk about what it is good for, its built-in features, price, value for money, and finally, I'll give you my final thoughts and hopefully help you decide if this lens is for you. So keep watching, don't skip, and I'll tell you more about it. Before I start, a quick disclaimer. This lens has been sent to me by Viltrox for this review, but as always, I was not paid or asked to say anything specific about it. And this is my honest and totally unbiased opinion about this lens. I have reviewed quite few Viltrox lenses in the past and I have been using few of them for a while as well. I have always been a fan. Good quality and very budget friendly. However, they were never high end or particularly special in any way. Great for the price, functional and a great affordable way to get into prime lenses. But this one, this new 16mm f1.8 lens for Sony E-mount full frame cameras, is different. New logo, new branding and all looking more stylish and more classy. I really think they have really upped their game and instead of very cheap and nice lens they have released a high quality beast that can easily compete, build an optical quality with the big boys like Tamron Sigma and even Sony. This lens delivers simply outstanding results, very sharp, great color and contrast and it is a joy to shoot with. There is no barrel distortion, very unusual, especially in this price range. But what makes this lens really special is that there's virtually no chromatic aberration visible. I haven't said this about any wide aperture prime or any lens in a very long time. This opens a lot of possibilities for what you can do with it. There is some chromatic aberration, tiny, tiny, but and it looks like the lens somehow electronically corrects it before the image gets to the sensor. I don't know how it works, but it works very, very well. Chromatic aberration is one thing that is really a problem even with G Master lenses. This lens is very unusual and surprising, no color fringing. Flaring is also very under control, like literally nothing to complain about. The wide aperture of f1.8 and this wide field of view makes it a perfect lens for astrophotography. It's like 2.30 a.m. I'm in the middle of nowhere, literally I can't see anything. <laughs> is pitch black and I've been trying to shoot some stars uh, with this lens and I guess it was successful. I presume it's infinity but it's not. You have to dial just below infinity to get those stars sharp enough and it's just time and patience to, to get those uh, shots done. Uh, 15 seconds each time and then you discover it doesn't work so you move the camera every single time and repeat and repeat and repeat hard work. The sharpness is way above average. It is certainly on par with Sigma's in my opinion. It is sharp edge to edge, even wide open, and I had no issues focusing with it, shooting photos or video. The bokeh is okay, not mega smooth or creamy, but totally acceptable and not really something to whinge about. I like that you can get close to your subject with it and still have that very shallow depth of field and wide angle at the same time. Minimum focusing distance is 27 centimeters, not close enough to go macro by any means, but close enough for capturing some interesting close-ups with it. For video, the size and its weight make it ideal lens for filming from a gimbal. 16 millimeter wideness is perfect for enhancing that sense of motion. 16 millimeter is definitely wide enough for filming yourself handheld at this vlogging. It allows you to get you and a lot of your surrounding in as well as other people if you if you wanted to. Also was very good for the lens as well as this. There is very little, there is some, but very little of that crazy wobble around the edges a lot of wide angle lenses get. This is way above average, way better than average and pretty good for the price. No focus, breathing visible. Another thing that is very unusual these days, especially with the lenses in this class. Builds, yeah, 
high-end quality no doubt not only very well built but also it has got some features that really make it stand out from the crowd you can't miss the fact that this lens has got electronic display this is not common and rarely seen on the lenses these days looks very cool but I'm not sure how useful it actually is it displays the focusing distance and it seems to be very accurate displaying correct distance potentially this could be very useful when you focusing manually it is also easier to know that you are too close and closer than the minimum focusing distance of 27 centimeters the display shows also aperture changes and one extra thing the state of function buttons this lens has got two function buttons function one acts like a standard focus hold button that can be programmed to different functions by the camera that's standard but with this lens you can also program the focus pulse you can basically set focus point a and focus point b manually and the lens will smoothly focus pull from one to another automatically with the press of a button kind of neat and giving you consistent and repeatable focus pulls but with all current sony cameras you could do it with just the tap on the lcd screen tell me in the comments below how would you use this function if you were shooting with this lens in what scenario? Maybe I am missing something here. Anyway, the display is cool, something different and making this lens a little bit different than most lenses out there. Filter thread of 77 millimeter, fully weather sealed and metal and tough plastic construction. Good looking lens for sure. Standard auto manual focus on and off switch, manual aperture ring. Uh, aperture can be controlled manually from the lens or when set to auto by the camera. And there's also click on and off switch to have that manual aperture ring clicking or click less when, when turned. The focus ring is a little bit loose, could be a little bit more firm and the aperture ring feels like there is a tiny bit of plastic on plastic rubbing but all this happens with Sigma and Tamron lenses too. Weight respectful 550 gram, the lens overall is pretty small for a wide aperture, wide angle full frame prime. The supplied lens hood, just like with other Viltrox lenses before, it's a little bit plasticky. It attaches easily and it kind of clicks in but not properly and it's possible to turn it past the click. And I have noticed shooting with it that it was very easy sometimes to just rotate the hood by accident uh, and getting those petals, petal shape things in the shots, in the corners, visible in the corners. A bit annoying for the lens of this high quality but not the problem really. Price, not dirt cheap, but it is a very well priced for what you are getting here. £533 here in UK or $549 in US. Lenses like this with this spec usually cost double that. And I think the fact that it really delivers amazing quality, it is very good value for money. I certainly have never seen one and I can't find another 16mm f1.8 for full frame for Sony right now. Let me know if I'm wrong but as far as I know it has got no competition with this spec and not at this price for sure. Conclusion I didn't know what to expect from this lens, but I am actually amazed. Viltrox as a company, as a manufacturer is evolving and this is showing with this lens. It is not a novelty lens, it is not a toy. This is a lens that is good enough for professional work and with this focal length and wide aperture, a very versatile wide angle. Perfect for landscape architecture and pretty much everything when you need the wide field of view. Solid choice for video work, good auto-focusing performance and small and light enough to be used on a gimbal or handheld. I can't really say anything bad about it. It is a lens that I will be using on my Sony cameras in the future for sure. Highly recommended. And this is it from me. I hope this video was in some way helpful or informative. If it was, please give me the thumbs up. Please follow me on Instagram, consider subscribing and I'm see you next time. I don't know how it works, but it works very, very well. The, the uh, aperture can be controlled manually from the lens or when sent to auto and when, or when, blah, blah, blah. Wait, 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 respectful 550 gram. Lenses like the, ay, ay, ay. I've got no idea what I'm talking about. The lens, The supplied lens hood is just like with other Viltrox 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 Viltrox